Rikia, I'm so sorry. I was using you the whole time. Everything I said was a lie. I know. I always knew. And I... And I... I love you! <laughs> so what is... What is it? It's fucked up to do something like that to your childhood best friend. It's like really messed up. <laughs> People are looking at him like, what the fuck? <laughs> もういいんだ。お前に東京は似合わねえよ。俺と一緒に沖縄に帰ろう。ごめん。ごめんね、ギア。夏美。お前の心配事は俺が何とかしてやる。だからもう沖縄に帰ろう。<笑> First, we have a little bit of business. Yeah, exactly. Damn. By the way, I just realized that she's kind of dressed like, uh... She's kind of dressed like Futaba a little bit. Except Futaba's shorts are way shorter than that. <laughs> Can you excuse us, boss? I better get Natsumi back to the club. You bet. <clears throat> Thanks for waiting. When did you figure out that was really Natsumi? Well, when I first handed the pendant back to her, I noticed a scar on her palm. A scar? Yeah, when we went swimming together back in the day, she cut her hand on some cor coral. I cannot say that wor word, I'm sorry. It says it was pretty deep cut. And it left a scar to this day. And when I saw that scar in her hand, I knew it was not Natsumi. I'll be damned. How about we go for a drink and take the edge off? Sounds good to me. Make it somewhere nice. <laughs> you got 10,000 experience points. Nice. Alright, I think uh, that's about it for for uh, good old Rikia. So let's go ahead and get back to Serena. That was really that was really cool though. I like that. God damn it! I'm make, gonna make sure you remember me after this, punk. Don't think I'm just gonna let you walk right past without showing proper respect. Dude, you got that Joker. Dude, okay, I got it. I do like your suit. I kind of wish I had that suit. I would freaking kill for a bright purple suit, dude. I'd wear it at weddings. Just, oh man, it'd be amazing. Not that I go to many weddings anyway, but you know, if there ever was weddings, I definitely. Uh, uh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Get worked up. <laughs> Get on your knees. Get on your knees and beg me not to fuck you up. Or fuck you. You know, either one. <laughs> I wanna hear you plead. <coughs> oh god. Can't do that voice like this late at night. Not or this early in the morning. Can't do that voice. <laughs> Alright. Let's finally talk to good old... Of course. Let's talk to Rikia. Rikia. What, boss? I've had enough sightseeing. Hmm? Oh, sure. Let me know when you have some time to spare. Alright. Alright, Date. You done, Cosma? Yeah, I think we've seen enough. Yeah, I think we've seen enough. Okay, then. Tell me about Conda. Alright. 
basically, uh, I dry humped the shit out of him, and then he said that uh, uh, it wasn't even him. So, I think that was a pretty good interrogation move on my part, because, like, you know, well, what do you expect? I, I, I dry humped the shit out of him, man. Like, that, that's all you need. All these people out here torturing to get information, when all you need to do is just dry hump the shit out of someone, and they instantly tell you all the information they you, you need. And I broke his back, too. That was probably something. Mad Dog Mad Majima. Ooh, boy. Dude, we are going through these chapters like they're nothing. Remember back in, like, Yakuza 1 or 2? took a little bit to get past some of the uh, chapters. わかった。ご苦労。浜崎。どうやら簡単な組みが4代目に勝ち込みかけられたらしい。それで組の上層部は壊滅状態。たった一人で簡単とやり合うとはさすがだな。同時間の<笑> <laughs> Oh, it's freaking Fuma. I could see his I could see his freaking mustache. It's Fuma, I saw his mustache. It's not gonna be a big reveal. I saw his mustache, dude. I freaking saw it. So沖縄の利造と計画。あんたに紹介したのはこの俺だ。利造と建設に関わる利権。あんたの組に入る金は1000億は下らない。今俺らの中で6代目を弾いた可能性が高いのは間違いなくあんたなんだぜ。マジマのに。ああ、ま、ああ、ナバーマイン。マジマ。俺は神室町をこの手に収めたい。それがどういう意味かわかりますよね。ああ、ボーイ。今キリュさんに暴られたら一番困るのはあんただ。やり方は任せます。後始末。しっかり頼みましたよ。そう。So you're telling me that Hamazaki and freaking Majima are in it together? Why? Why would Majima even consider working with Hamazaki. Why would he even consider working with anyone? Hmm. What's that? うちの政治部のスクープです。ついに防衛大臣が見やが民事党と沖縄県議会をまとめたようなんです。つまり基地拡大法案の成立は確実ってことか。基地と ところで桐生、このリゾート開発、裏でとんでもねえ奴が絡んでるようなんだ。いや。政治部の記者宛てに届いた情報です。匿名の情報筋から、こんな写真が。これは。マジマ。いや、鈴木が仕掛けているリ
This one's got me, man. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I never would have guessed that Majima was involved in all this. Even if he wasn't the ringleader, it seems cert certain that he was involved in some kind of way. Could he have shot Daigo and Kashiwagi? No, he would never do that. Listen, I know you're, clo you're close to the guy, but he's still a Yakuza. Who knows what he might have done if he had a falling out with one of them. It's impossible. Majima gave me his word two years ago. He's not the kind of my man to break his word. I have faith in him. I understand how you feel, but what are you going to do if it turns out the Majima was behind all of this? Then I'll kill him with my own two hands. Kazuma. <clears throat> I'm going to see Majima. Wait, Kazuma, you don't know whose side he's on. All the more reason to pay him a visit. I have to clear all of this up, but if the Majima family is located in is the Majima family still located in Purgatory? Yeah, their headquarters should be still there. Of course, it looks like it's just an empty lot. The entrance is still the same. Go through the bathroom in the park. Got it. I'm going. Be careful. Don't turn your back on him, Kazuma. I won't. Oh, man, why? Why? Yeah, like, Majima... The Majima I know would never freaking work with anyone, especially not someone like Hamazaki. Like, hell no. Hell to the no. Oh, man. Okay, but yeah, seriously, I would like to thank this game for, um, brightening up the freaking color palette. So, thank you, game, for doing that. Because, holy crap, you, you, I mean, if you watched the other play, you know how dark the other two games are. You could barely see crap. Come on, come on. Ooh! <laughs> I whooped it. I kicked his ass. I freaking... I did the, uh... The death of a thousand palms on him. Give me your lunch money, bitch. Freaking 30... 3,000 yen? That's chump change. Gotta have something better on you than that. If you want to survive, <laughs> for I snap your goddamn neck. All right. Do 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 do. Move your ass. Move your ass. Shake your boo. Okay. That guy kind of looks like Daigo a little bit, like how he's dressed, with the white uh, kind of sweatshirt. Cause that's what Daigo had on. <laughs> he's not dead. He won't die. I don't believe it. Not for a second. You can't have Daigo like, oh yeah, he was in one game, and then he just dies in the next one. <laughs> don't play a Tarada on me, you bastards. Freaking hate that crap. Don't know if Majima is on my side or not. I have to be careful. I should prepare myself before I go. Should I go inside? Actually, not yet. Is there a freaking... Is there like a convenience store nearby? Where is the nearest convenience store? Really, like the own the closest one is like way over there. What do I have on me? Get okay, where we got that. That heals my health. Okay, that maxes out my health. And this 
comes in handy when I need a little health boost. So a little health boost. And then this one basically like recovers all of my health. Charge up my heat. Has a lot of bounce to it. I don't really need all these worms anymore. <laughs> Squishy ball. Kids can throw this around without getting hurt. Shard of tempered glass. This glass is tempered glass is actually bulletproof. Too small to block bullets now. <clears throat> What's the point of that? Ah, I'm ready. Let's just do it. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm ready. Fuck it. We can handle it. We can handle it. Alrighty. <laughs> Just purely empty. Is that his office? Majima family, yep. knock on the door or just let ourselves in why not dial 007 for assistance okay those are my favorite phones by the way I freaking love those phones I love ro uh, rodeo phones My God. Oh, okay. Well, that's comforting. Hey, Majima. How are you? A little bit. Alrighty. I like your new suit and tie, man. Miss the skin the skin uh the snake skin jacket though. The golden snake skin jacket. <laughs> Cause that thing was badass. I want one of those. Follow me. Alright. Don't mind if I do. Ah it this is actually really cool to see this in uh Yakuza three. This is actually really freaking cool. Oh man, it looks so much nicer in Yakuza 3 than it did in Yakuza 1 and 2. For, for, for starters, I can actually see where I'm freaking going without tripping and running into walls. That's, that's, that's probably the best thing. <laughs> Why were the freaking first two games so fucking dark? Ugh, I cannot... I, that was the one thing I couldn't freaking stand in those two games. I love them to death, but they needed to be lighter on the color on the color palette because I could not see crap half the time. Here we are, Kazzy. This is, as you can see, it's no longer in use. It's quite nice and quiet. Let's talk inside, eh? <laughs> Isn't that the fighting arena? <laughs> I think it is. Yep, it is. 
changed up a lot. I remember ke uh, freaking steel cage around it. Yeah, and I beat you, remember? <laughs> I beat you so that you could go out. Yep, I remember fighting you here, Kazzy. It's closed now? Yeah, it's been closed for about a year. I've been busy with other things. You mean the Okinawa wizard deal? You know about that, eh? Why did you do it, Majima? Why would someone like you want to get involved with a resort in Okinawa? For Daigo. What? It's true. I just wanted to make things a little easier for him. That's why I did it. But Daigo refused to get involved, right? And that's what got him shot? Actually, I don't really understand that myself. Majima. I don't think you could come up with something like that resort deal on your own. You've got to be working with someone, somebody else. Who is it? Why don't, why won't you tell me? Answer me. Well, we're gonna have to fight him. Kiryu-chan, yo. Konna ore ni mo na, gokudou toshi na suji kyu mo ga aru ya. Tato e ore ga soitsu ni hamerare ta to shite mo, tada de kuchi wari yo na kota deke hen. <laughs> yep. I freaking knew it. <laughs> oh man, you do know how to put on a show, don't you? At least this time you're freaking unarmed when I fight you. Hopefully. One can hope. Oh, there's the steel cage. Okay. Just like old times, huh? Oh boy. So you Kotoka. Or no Kucho Warasita Katara. Kenka de Shiro Grotske de Garashi. Yeah, typical Majima, honestly. Oh no, he has his knife. So that the na. Or it eats more. So ya de Ikitan that the na. Let's do it. Ruler of the ring, hell yeah. Mad dog. Mad dog match. Let's freaking do it, dude. I will kick your ass. Of course. He always has to freaking. I wonder if his fight. If his uh, moves are the exact same. Because I remember they didn't really change much from the first game in the second game. They didn't really change that much. Oh boy. Yep, he's still freaking a dodger. Like always. Oh! Ow! My God! Oh! Yeah! Oh yeah! worked up. Come on, Majima. You just wanted to be like old times, right? 
because remember when I kick your ass? Oh yeah, he does this freaking bullcrap. But he goes crazy. Stop. Let you calm down for a second. You're not getting behind me. I failed. Ow. Hey, that was freaking cheap. Jesus. Like how I freaking lose my heat, but no, he gets to keep his. That's that's fair. <laughs> oh god damn it! I keep on failing because I freaking I try to dodge that, and you know, because I don't I don't remember that it's a freaking. I don't remember that it's a freaking um. A uh, quick time event when he does that, so like I instantly like start mashing freaking the X button because I'm like, oh crap, he's gonna freaking attack me. I better dodge. Ow. Come on, man. Now right, you're gonna do this again, huh? At least now I know what to do. Holy crap. Oh yeah. Notice that they also kept his theme song. <laughs> there we go. All healed up. Ow. Ready for more punishment. God damn. At least he doesn't attack you while you're on the ground. That would be some bullcrap if he did. I'm not gonna be able to freaking get. I'm not gonna be able to get it. I'm not gonna be able to get it. I'm not gonna be able to get it. I'm not gonna. Be able to get it. I'm not gonna... <laughs> I wasn't. I was too low on heat, dude. I was way too low. I was way too low. I was way too low. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I, okay. I kind of went into full gorilla mode and just kind of kicked the shit out of him. Majima defeated again. Hell yeah! You marry me. Yeah, <laughs> Good fight, man.
Good fight, my dude. Alright, cool. Thank you. <laughs> See, I knew, I knew freaking uh, Majimo wasn't going to be a problem. I freaking figured. It's like, come on, man. He just wants to fight and then he'll tell us everything. Like, that's, that's, that's Majima. This is like chapter 8, yep. Yeah. Men and Plots. Oh boy. And after this cutscene, I think I'm gonna get off for today, guys. Because I'm. Yep, it's a cutscene. Hey, look, it's actually bright and you can actually see what's going on. <laughs> Hamazaki was the one who introduced me to that guy, Suzuki. Hamazaki. Yeah, he's been trying to get in on the action ever since he found out about the Tojo clan was <clears throat> that the Tojo clan was involved in getting land for that resort deal. But Daigo wished washed his hands clean of the whole thing. That was when Hamazaki decided to take matters in his own hands, if you know what I mean. He contacted Suzuki and told him that he'd take over the Tojo clan. That way, he'd get the rights of, to the ch to a chunk of resort-related matters. And you'd get the construction contract. Yeah, I didn't really understand why he'd go through the trouble of approaching me with such a juicy deal. But now I get it. What do you mean? You know, that photo, you know, that photo of me meeting with Suzuki that you saw? I'm sure Hamazaki was the one who leaked it. Why would he do that? The photo proves that the Majima family was working with Suzuki behind the Tojo clan's back. And if the cops were to find out, Suzuki and I'd be the ones to take the fall. Then Hamazaki could move in and take over the whole deal and make a killing off of it. I bet that was the plan all along. The more I know about Hamazaki, the less I like. I know what you mean. He's got another motive, too. What's that? Last time we met, I remember him saying, I want Komurocho for myself. You know what that means. The bastard's planning on taking advantage of this whole mess to take over Komurocho. He wants Komurocho? First Daigo was shot, then Kashiwagi. Of course, then... Of course, then you crush Kanda's organization, leaving Komurocho vulnerable to power-hungry Hamazaki. Wouldn't be, it wouldn't surprise me if Hamazaki had all this planned from the start. And that means his final goal is to take over Kumarocho and then become the seventh chairman of the Tojo clan. Yep. Oh boy, it's all about power, ain't it? Wait a minute. Is this Kage? It is! Oh yes. Kage. Oh. So nice to see you, dude. Oh man. Reunited and it feels so good. <laughs> it's been a long time. Yeah. Never would have thought you would you were still I would have I never would have thought you we're still working from here. Again, look at how much lighter it looks. I can actually see things besides the freaking TV screens. Why in the living fuck was Yakuza 1 and 2 so dark? Was it like limitations of the, of the PlayStation 2? Was that why it was so freaking dark? Oh my god, I just lo I just love seeing things. I'm actually freaking seeing things. <laughs> I asked Majima to let me borrow this place. You may recall that I lost my previous office after that trouble a couple years ago. Right, now about Hamazaki. Do you have any info on what he's really after? Yes, it seems that he wants to sell the entire resort to the Chinese. The Chinese? What do you mean? Look at this. Is that? Yes, Lao Kalong, leader of the Snake Flower Triads. The Chinese organized crime syndicate you defeated four years ago. Ah, oh, the fucker with the spear. 
That sadistic fuck. Great. What does he have to do with this? Turns out he wasn't killed during that incident four years ago. He returned to China and was waiting for a chance to strike back. He singled out Hamaza the Hamazaki family, distant branch of the Tojo had th that had control of the area outside of Yokohama. The Snake Flower Triads helped Hamazaki take over Yom Yokohama, and Tojo clan renamed Hamazaki assistant lieutenant as a resistant as a result of this feat. Now look at the next photo. What is this? Look at the documents on the table. It's a contract between the Hamazaki family and the Snake Flower Triads about the Okinawa Resort. But why would a Hamazaki have a contract? Seems that Hamazaki plans to create a top secret underground casino under beneath the resort. That contract gives control of that casino to the Fla Snake Flower Triad. It looks like H Hamazaki and Suzuki are working very closely. I've never seen a low-ranking Yakuza family pull something off of this magnitude off. I had no idea Hamazaki was in so deep. How are you able to find all of this information out all of this information on Hamazaki? Kazuma, do you know who you're talking to? It's freaking Kage. Actually, I was hired by someone six months ago. Hired? By whom? Daigo Dojima. What? Daigo hired you? <laughs> Look at Majima's face. Like <laughs> he's 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 seen some shit. What does that mean? Of course, I wouldn't normally divulge the identities of my clients, but given the circumstances, I think Daigo would forgive me. Tell us what happened. About a year ago, Daigo started looking for a traitor in the Tojo clan. A traitor? Yes. He thought that someone was working with a certain politician to take control of the Okinawa resort deal, so he came to me. I sent operatives to infiltrate the various family offices and obtain information. And that's how you got that photo. Yes. So it was Hamazaki who shot Daigo and Kashiwagi, huh? Possibly. Possibly? What do you mean? After Daigo was shot, I began looking into the matter. That's when I discovered that another man was also involved. Mine? Maybe Mine. Or is it Fuma? Yep, it's Fuma. Fuma actually kind of looks like someone, but I can't quite put my finger on it. I'm telling. Oh boy. What the hell? Whole bunch of triad guys. Love, Carl. Great. Now we have to fight Lao. Fantastic. Just what I wanted for Christmas. Okay. Seriously, how many times has Kamurocho been through this? They literally been through this like last year, or a couple years ago, two years ago. They literally went through this. You just see someone with a pig mask walking by? Don't don't mind me. Just walking through. Wei Shin, is that you? Likia. <laughs> Kage, I know you're freaking intelligent as all get out, but like, really? I, even I could tell you that, and I'm not that smart. <laughs> I'm not as smart as you. I know I couldn't freaking pull off what you did, even though I would love to. Call him. 
Yeah, freaking get out of there. Ricky, I really... Out of all the times you could have done that. Out of all the freaking times. Is he gonna be like the new Haruka? He's 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 gonna be the new Haruka, just getting captured all the goddamn time. We have to go save him. Actually, Daigo was kind of the new was kind of the Rick, uh, Haruka. No, actually no, because Haruka still had to be saved by uh, from Sengoku. So yeah. Ricky is just replacing the role of Haruka where we have to go save his ass. Ricky is in trouble, I have to go help him. Okay, can I get out of here? Who is that, Kazzy? Guess you could say he's one of my men. Want me to send my men to look for him? Yeah, that would help. Let me know the minute you find anything. Roger that. Hey, Kirio, who's the kid that the Snake Flower Triads are looking for? I haven't seen him around Komurocho before. He's the lieutenant of a family in Okinawa. He followed me here yesterday. What could the F Snake Flower Triads probably want with him? A uh, bargaining trip? I don't know. Maybe Hamazaki is using Lao. In any case, your friends will be tied if they don't take that kid hostage. I know. I'll go save him. <clears throat> oh, really? You want to leave the mono room? Yes. Rescue Rikia. <clears throat> okay, is there like there's a safe spot over here, right? Pretty sure. There's one. I would love there to be a fight in Purgatory. Hey, Cosma. The hell? So you're battle with the boss. Impressive stuff. Oh, hello, Nishida. I'm sorry, but I'm in a bit of a hurry. Sorry, I guess I got a little carried away. I should let you go. Oh, by the way, they decided to reopen the Coliseum. The boss is really excited about it. Got a lot of fighters lined up, so come by and fight when you get the chance. I will. Okay. It's another side thing that I'll probably know will never do. <laughs> probably in, an, in another playthrough that I do of this game. You can use phones to save and move items. Let us save, and we will be off for today guys <clears throat> <coughs> all right so I hope that you guys enjoyed this third session of Yakuza things really really picked up in this session uh, Yak the second session was kind of um, the second session was kind of like you know a bit of a, a bit of a relaxing you know time um, but this, this session really picked up, and I really like it, uh, and, but I really like the, the, uh, relaxing stuff, too. Um, so, I like the, I love this game, I like it, it's probably, I mean, uh, it's, it's hard to say, you know, let me upgrade real quick. It's hard to say which one's my favorite, because all of them are just so freaking good, like, seriously. Like, all of them are just so good. Um, but, yeah, like, they're such good stories. Um, but I'm, I'm excited to see what happens next. Uh, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Bye! Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye.